We have some people in the house tonight that can speak well for Dave and Betty and what they've accomplished, and we're so happy they're with us and that we can give honor to what they've done for us. This hall that we're sitting in would not be, perhaps have taken place in the same way without them. So without further ado, I'm going to turn this over to Roger, and um, we're going to welcome, let him welcome uh, several other guests and have a little bit of a story to tell you. Good evening, everybody. I, as, I am honored to serve as superintendent here in the Oconomowoc here School District, a place where support for excellence in the arts is not just something that's a sometimes thing, but, a, but, a, but an all the time thing, and quite frankly, it's an expectation. And that doesn't come without incredible support from the community, and it doesn't come without a strong and rich tradition to back it up. And so I'd like to invite Rick and Shelley Broadhouse to join me here, as well as Dr. Pat Newdecker, just make some comments about our award recipients tonight, and then I will wrap things up. Very good. Well, thank you. Thank you, Roger. It's great to be standing up here and honoring Betty and Dave Royal. Um, personally, I've known them now for going on probably 50 years. We go way back. A couple, a couple stories I wanted to share. We could share a lot of stories, but I'll limit it down to a couple here. Um, first of all, some early memories. Um, we had a, a potluck family group that got together with Dave and Betty all the time. We were always getting together, going pizza hopping to different places and whatnot. But sometimes we would have dinner at the Royals' house. And I, can, I, I still remember so distinctly, Betty would just serve a gourmet meal. It was beautiful to eat and it was beautiful to look at. It was, she's the class act in that one, that's for sure. And she brought, brought that, that, that beauty to all everything she did. And of course, Dave was always the adventurous one. I remember tobogganing in Devil's Hollow underneath a ski slide out there. We go out there, and I remember one time, especially, um, Dave had this brilliant idea. We go tobogganing down this, this steep hill, under that ski hill, and he built this banked curve, thinking we could hit that curve or make the bank and then be able to go down further. Well, it was never tested until we did it. And, of course, we, we flew right over that, that, that banked curve, wiped out in a royal way, <laughs> and my dad broke his finger. <laughs> a couple early memories that from, from Dave and Betty prior to us, me, and my wife, Shelly, Dave Megadance back here, getting into band at the junior high school at the time. Shelly has a couple things to share. When I think of Dave and Betty, I think of three different things. Excellence, care, and commitment. I've known Dave and Betty for 40 years now, and Dave had a little bit of work to do with me um, in after seventh grade, I, um, I really didn't like playing too much, and he doesn't know this, but I, on the way home, I had a mile and a half walk, and it was so hard to carry that French horn home, and I would I remember one day, I took the horn and threw it down the street. And um, at the end of seventh grade, he got on his knees and begged me to keep playing, and I'm so grateful for that day. But that's the kind of teacher that Dave was. And, and he looked so pathetic sitting down there on his knees that I, I decided to, to play. But really, he, he, that's the kind of teacher that Dave is. And that's when excellence started for me and for, for so many others, that playing in a band that was just so excellent and rose to a high level. I spent a lot of hours in, in Dave's office, not only with Dave after school, but his daughter, Renata, who's become a very successful author. Their whole family is just so beautiful. Dave and Betty also were so committed to the Legion Band and invited many young people to come and get a great training there. Um, so many of us had just wonderful friendships and, and many, many experiences that were just outstanding. And when I think back um, to eighth grade and ninth grade, I can't believe the level of music that we were playing. And that's because um, Dave just strove to such a level of excellence. What Dave and Betty have done in their example and support, and Betty has been just key, um, a key volunteer and supporter of the Festival of the Arts and also 
just so many musical groups and the Waukesha Symphony just throughout the years. But they deeply touched so many young people, and not only that, but adults. And the trajectory of all of their lives has just been completely uplifted by the work that they've done, whether people have become musicians or taken other careers or whether they've been teachers. And each day in my teaching, I strive to live the example that I learned from these lovely and supportive people. I'm so grateful for them. Thank you, Dave and Betty. I've been looking for an opportunity to, to share this story. Dave, in particular, I wanted to share this. Um, this is a great time to do this. Um, I knew I wanted to be an educator, probably back when I was in middle school, probably in large part due to my experience in band. Uh, as Shelley mentioned, I'm going to echo that as well, that it's there that Dave taught all of us, all of his students, the power of striving for excellence and the discipline it takes to get there. And that process transforms people. And I think it affected all of us. I can speak for anybody who was a student of Dave's and with Betty right there by his side. And then when I started teaching, my second year of teaching, Dave hired me to come back and be his colleague and teach with him there. And uh, my assignment at the time was, uh, were the two seventh grade bands. And um, one at a time, Dave allowed me to, to come in and conduct the, the top group, the concert band, his group, the, 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 the top eighth and ninth grade band. And um, I, I remember so clearly, I was up there working at it, and I got into this piece of music, brand new piece of music, put it out in front of the kids, and we were working hard on it, breaking it down, working on it. And the, the kids maybe not weren't responding as, as I thought they probably would have to this really neat piece of music. And after the, re the rehearsal, Dave took me aside and talked with me. He said, you know, Rick, he said that before you break things down and get into criticism of the music and, and, and rehearse it and woodshed it like that, you need to let them love it first. I've thought about that many, many times throughout my career. I think it's so appropriate and I've used it in, in my work with, with students in all ways and teachers and whatnot. Let them love it first. And wouldn't that be a, a wonderful thing if we could just use that in our world today. And I think it's a, it's a great lesson for all of us. So, Dave, thank you for that lesson. I've remembered it always, and I, I use it to this day. Congratulations. Thank you for being my mentor and my friend. And thank you. Good evening, and congratulations, um, our friends, Dave and Betty. I'm Pat Newdecker. I, was the for I am the former uh, school superintendent here. And I moved to this wonderful community in 1998, uh, December of 1998, as the old middle school building principal. And that's when I first met Dave Royal. And I'll tell you a story. Um, I wrote uh, what I believe is a lovely tribute to you, which is on the video. So I'm going to just capture little snippets of, of that uh, tribute and tell you a story. While I was middle school principal, I met Dave, the amazing band teacher who very quickly asked if I would like to come to their home for dinner. And you can imagine what a treat this was because my husband, Kurt, was still living in Eau Claire, selling our home, finishing out second semester, and then planning to move down here at the end of our school year there. So I was a new person to Oconomowoc, certainly a new principal to the middle school, and, um, and a little bit lonesome, and maybe Dave uh, maybe out of his graciousness, just uh, recognize that. Anyway, he invited me to their home for dinner, and I remember so many things about that evening, but what I remember was great food, great conversation, um, hospitality, graciousness, and of course that's the night I met the amazing Betty as well. So from that point on, a friendship grew and developed, and we worked on many projects together in the community with the Waukesha Symphony, attending events, working hard, trying to keep the arts um, supported um, as they do so well. I wrote in the tribute uh, words that we've heard tonight, words of excellence, kindness, loyalty, people of tremendous faith, people who put other people and their needs in front of themselves. And we're all grateful to you for that. It's fitting that this evening this award is given in this 
lovely performing space because Dave and Betty in many, many ways have touched and made this place possible. Dave, through your many years of preparing students and musicians and filling the stage with amazing sounds, as well as always being local and loyal patrons in the audience. So we thank you both for that. And when it came time to launch the idea for this beautiful facility, it was Betty and Dave, and Betty specifically, that stepped up to help with the campaign, helped me personally with the referendum, gathered support and votes, and once the referendum passed, never gave up, never skipped a beat, and pledged to make this place a better place, working with the Oconomowoc uh, Public Education Foundation, working with the arts boards and the arts foundations. We have lobby furniture because of Betty. We have a green room for visiting artists because Betty's the one that convinced me that we needed one and we quickly, with the help of the architect, turned a closet into a green room um, and many, many other enhancements here. So I think that's the word that I would close with. Betty and Dave, you have enhanced everything you've touched from people to places to music, and while this award is really for your gracious and your generosity and your talent and your, uh, your uh, excellence that you put in front of all of us, it really is about two people who are dedicated to each other, to the betterment of their community, and always to things that are above and beyond the two of them. So I can't thank you enough for your friendship, for what you've contributed, um, and for the amazing, amazing role models you've been for all of us. Congratulations, Dave and Betty. I'd like to make just a few comments tonight about the, the Chatfield Award and the namesake for, for that award. Frank, and this is also in your program, Frank Chatfield was an Oconomowoc resident and luthier. And in the 1930s, donated a, a matching set, uh, two violins, a viola, and a cello to, to the district. And as you can imagine, over time, uh, they became unplayable. And there is currently an undertaking to restore those fine instruments to their original playability. Um, any donations that you'd be interested in making towards that initiative can be made to the Oconomowoc Chamber Orchestra. Those, any dollars beyond uh, that which is required to restore them will, will also come to the district to help support their continued maintenance. Um, it's our hope that one day soon we'll be able to have students performing with those instruments once again. The award, um, there is a plaque with names of award uh, recipients which will stand in posterity in the auditorium lobby and that has been updated to include Dave and Betty. I learned a lot over the last several weeks as I did some research into those things that I've heard so much about regarding Dave and Betty. And it's not an exaggeration to say that Dave and Betty have spent their entire adult lives contributing to the arts. And while I'm unable to do justice, I'm sure, to all those contributions, some of which you've already heard here tonight, I'm honored to give you a few examples. Betty Royal has been active on the festival committee for the Economic Festival of the Arts since 1994 and served as president in 2001. She served three terms on the executive board of the Waukesha Symphony Orchestra, where she also served as board president and engaged the symphony for performances at the Festival of the Arts. Betty was an executive board member for the Belcanto Chorus a recognition for her contributions there. She received the Sally Hoyt Leadership Award in 2012 and the Dave Tolan Meritorious Service Award in 2017. Closer to home, as you heard from Pat, Betty served on the successful referendum committee for the Oconomowoc Arts Center, Fieldhouse, and our two intermediate schools. She also initiated and managed the purchase by the Festival of Arts of Melody, the beautiful sculpture that stands watch out in front of the Arts Center. Her work didn't end there. She also served on the original OAC board, spearheaded the master gardener approval of the OAC gardens and continues to serve on the OAC program committee. Dave Royal taught instrumental music in the Oconomowoc Area School District from 1958 
until his retirement in 1998. During much of that time, he also served as coordinator of the district's music department. During Dave's tenure, the Oconomowoc bands gained national and international acclaim for their high standard of excellence, and they made repeated performances at state, national, and international festivals. In talking to one current music faculty member, it was commented to me that Dave's time was considered the glory years for the music program here in the district. During his career, Dave also served as president of the Wisconsin Music Educators Association, as well as the president of his national organization, the American School Band Directors Association. I think a significant part of Dave's legacy in the district without question is the high standard for music excellence that was established during his tenure and continues to this day. Our music programs continue to be recognized at the state and national levels, standing on the shoulders of those who went before them. As an educator, I cannot imagine a more wonderful and gratifying legacy. Together, the Royals Participation in the Wakanawak Performing Arts Council presented performances by OHS graduates who went on to become professional artists. And these concerts helped create community awareness of the need for the Arts Center that we're sitting in here tonight. The Arts Council also furnished the Charles Dix painting and furnishes, furnishings for the OAC lobby as well as the green room here in the OAC. Dave has been an active director of the Wakanawak American Legion Band where Betty, Betty has been a band member, vocal soloist and member of the Color Guard. I'm certain I've missed other contributions, but I think it's clear that it, it wasn't hyperbole when I said at the outset that these two have spent their entire adult lives contributing to the arts community here in Oconomowoc. And I believe fully that the quality of any community, and in fact the quality of any school district can be judged by its support for the arts. With that in mind, and for their contributions, for the significant impact of those contributions on the lives of countless children and on the quality of life in our community, I'm honored tonight to present Dave and Betty Roy with the 2018 Chatfield Award. When you have the honor of living in a community like Wakanamawak that gives so much to all of us, I really feel a strong responsibility to give back. And that's been a huge privilege to be able to give back to this wonderful community. Thank you. Someone asked me one time, uh, you know, you're still teaching. You know, I, I told, I said, this is my 60th year um, uh, here in Economy. And he said, how come? And I said, well, you think about it. You know, 
teaching is not just a career. It really, when you're into it, it's a sacred trust. You, you become so attached to these students and vice versa that if you can engage their minds in a positive way, you can move them in directions which are going to <clears throat> exceed their expectations. And so that's something that I still enjoy doing every day. I, have, um, I teach three days a week yet, and I just wouldn't give it up. It's the three happiest days of, my, <coughs> uh, of the week. Anyway, we are overwhelmed with this. Thank you so much, those of you that are. And Roberta, thank you. Thank you. Um, so, anyway. Uh, I guess that's it.